the land of the sun to the land of the moon, I, Kritika, welcome all our audience to our unique program, Career Talks. And present with me here today is Yokota Sensei. Welcome you, sir. Konnichiwa. And we have Professor Manish Biani with us today. We welcome them to our studio. A warm welcome to both of you, sir. So, uh, let me begin by asking Sensei Yokota a question. What brings you to India? What is that about India that excites you? Uh, yes, thank you for the question. Um, the reason why um, I came to India is uh, two reasons. Uh, one is uh, I always wanted to work with a good people, a good partner, uh, who can uh, share the same goals and the same value. So I met uh, Manish Biani Sensei uh, three years ago. Uh, okay. in Japan right. and uh, I was very impressed that uh, his strong passion and a very sincere uh, sincere attitude and very energetic positive uh, thinking about how to help people in India in okay. Rajasthan okay. so that's the reason uh, uh, that, that that experience brought me to India Okay, that's very nice of you to uh, to tell us that what excites you about India, what interests you, and you meeting Professor Bia Manish Biani, sir, was an added advantage. So, sir, what are your views? You are you have been staying in Japan. You are from India. So, what are your views about moving to Japan, and what exactly do you feel people can look forward to in that? Mm. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Kritika, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, the journey between Japan and India was. Uh, something very objectively. Uh, the earlier days uh, when I went to Japan was only to learn technologies. Yes. But after learning, uh, after completing the first goal, I realized that uh, just learning is not uh, enough. Sure. We have to transform the technology. Right. And that is the one of the major objective. Uh, I started to uh, bridge the relationship between India and Japan, that how the technology can help to to bridge this to, to different country and uh, from that uh, because uh, now you know uh, as the Abe and Modi chemistry is yes. growing very well uh, what we need both the country need uh, Japan is an aging country and India is a very young country okay. Japan is good in technology part and India is good in user part so both country uh, have a very good match with each okay. others so in that sense I think uh, it's really good to work uh, for these two country, and that what I'm is my passion to work in this two uh, between these so two. Great, fields. we have two dedicated people, one from Japan and one from India, and fostering the Indo-Japanese ties, which is also the call for the day. India and Japan both are working towards it. So, so what are the main objectives of you coming to India? You found the passion here, you found the dedication and the manpower is there. What are your main objectives of coming to India now? Ah, um, my main objective to come here is to help people to be more healthy, especially people in Jaipur, Rajasthan, uh, yes. India. Um, that uh, my uh, passion uh, derives from my experience in 1996. I came visit India first time. Right. Uh, I spent two months in uh, Mother Teresa's house in Calcutta. And I was very uh, shocked by the situation in India, uh, in a health situation, and also impressed by uh, Mother Teresa's unconditional uh, devotion to yes. the people who are in need of help. So uh, that, that uh, the, the, the main purpose that uh, I want to work together with Biani uh, uh, College uh, to help uh, people to be more healthy. Great. So 1986, you meeting Mother Teresa was the turning point of your life. And now with the help of Biani Group of Colleges, you plan to bring a healthy lifestyle and a healthy life for the people of India. So, sir, how do you exactly plan to do that? What exactly is the way we will go about it? Because Japan, we know people are very health conscious. The main focus is on the diet, on the food. So what do you have suggestions for the Indian people? Ah, uh, I see. Um, my suggestion is to know your own health status. Uh, many people, they are not aware about their health status, what the problem in my body. Mm -hmm. 
Um, now India has the lifestyle has been changed with the yes, economic yes. growth. A lot of people eat more sugar, mm -hmm. uh, more uh, fast food, mm -hmm. and uh, less uh, exercise, physical activities. So that kind of lifestyle caused a new disease, uh, such as diabetes, yeah, hypertension, lifestyle diseases. Yeah, lifestyle diseases. Uh, yes. Because of wrong yes. eating habits and no mm -hmm. practically no workouts and no exercise, so that leads to lifestyle diseases. So you will make the people more aware of these lifestyle diseases. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, sir. And now let's moving on to some Japanese culture. India is always inquisitive. We are a diversified country. We have a lot of different cultures. So if people want to know a little bit about the Japanese culture, what is it like? Ah, mm. uh, Japanese culture is very rich, uh, but different from India. Okay. Uh, uh, India is very spiritual and Japan has a uh, uh, very, how to say, like, um, uh, for example, the uh, we have a very unique culture of cartoon, uh, manga. It's called okay. manga. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, cartoons and a lot of uh, uh, karaoke culture, okay. uh, singing. Karaoke, uh, karaoke singing. singing. Okay. Yes. yes. And uh, uh, sports is very uh, popular. Uh, like a sumo is a national sports in yes. in, in Japan. And okay. baseball and soccer, football is very popular. Okay, thank you. And Professor Manish, I would like to ask you this question. You have moved from India to Japan. So what are the common things you see? Like sir told us about the Japanese culture and you know about the Indian culture. So are there something which is common between both the countries? We can uh, say maybe the spirit, the enthusiasm of the people towards different aspects. Mm, well, it, it will be very hard to say the common things for okay. me <laughs> because uh, yeah, the most common thing what I realized that both are Asian countries. <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, we live in a uh, in a in a in a same world, uh, but uh, it's really hard to say the common things because both countries have very different culture, uh, different diversities, mm -hmm. and uh, very different actually okay. in all the way. Uh, but now, uh, if we start to share our cultures, then I think maybe in in, 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 things in, might in coming them. futures we would be able to see some common things in both yeah. the countries. Okay, mm. great. So yes, uh, maybe one thing in common is that people both in both the places are compassionate and more uh, mm -hmm. uh, open towards guests and we welcome them. Both the places, it's like that. A culture mm -hmm. of compassion is there in both the places. Mm -hmm. So for the students who are looking forward to going to Japan for studying higher studies and better job prospects, what do we have for them over there? What does Japan have to offer the students of India who might want to go ahead and do the higher studies in Japan? What are the basic requirements for that? Hmm. Well, uh, if uh, students are planning to uh, develop a career, I think Japan is a wonderful country mm -hmm. because career is not developed just by uh, following some syllabus or some courses mm -hmm. or some, but uh, if you have an environment that can help to build your vision, uh, you can better develop your careers. So Japan is a country uh, is a, that can give you a good environment where you can learn about how you, how you should lead your future. So you can make a vision, new vision in the, in this country that you you may not able to do in India. Yeah. So, so for a better a job perspective and for a better vision mm. and to be uh, learning more new things and applying them in your life, Japan is the place to be. So. What are the difficulties a person might have to face when they move to Japan? Maybe the language, the cultural barriers. As you said, the, the two countries are very different culturally. Mm -hmm. So for a student to adapt over there when they move from India to Japan, so what are the basic things? They should need to know the language or have a, a knowledge of English would suffice over there. Yeah, first, the most important thing which I want to uh, urge all the young generation to first fix a mindset. If you have a fixed mindset to do study or to do some career in Japan, then I think uh, there is no such a major problem. So mm -hmm. first is a fixed mindset. Second, of course, uh, there will be different food culture, different language, different environment. So before moving to this, if you if you can prepare before moving, Beforehand. if you can prepare in India, then it will be of course easy for you to get accustomed there. So if you have a proper training mm. before you move to Japan, like in Biani Group of Colleges, we are providing a training program to yes. the students where they learn the language about the culture and 
customs of Japan. So it becomes easy for them to acclimatize once they move to Japan. Mm, yeah. So like you said about the eating habits of Japan. India, basically, most of the people here are vegetarians. <laughs> they do not uh, go for uh, non-veg food. And Japan basically <laughs> is... Uh, mostly fish and seafood is there so yes. um, uh, the basically how is it difficult is indian food available over there easily uh, because i am living from last 20 years and i have this is not true that i am always eating the indian food i am eating the japanese food okay. uh, at least two or three times in a month right. so it means that you can survive yeah. if you, you can have you the can open enjoy mindset yeah. and if you are looking to better challenges in life then you can obviously adapt like yeah. sir is an inspiration for a lot of indian people he has lived there for 20 years and lived successfully over there so yes i think japan with open arms it welcomes the indian students but what you need to have is an open mindset and a motivation that yes you need to do well in life so japan welcomes so any last concluding line you would like to say uh, yes uh uh, please come to Japan and uh, uh, we can share our knowledge and our skills and uh, your strengths and we can both country uh, can uh, further improve each other. Okay, thank you sir. And uh, I think uh, first everyone has to recognize the importance of these two countries, that both countries need each other. And if you belong to this country, either you are Japanese or either you are Indians, you are very fortunate. Right. Okay, so first recognize that you belong to these two countries. And now, uh, please try to, uh, to take your career. If you can do something to bridge this relationship, then I think it is wonderful. And uh, of course, Bihani Group of Colleges is one of the platform right. that can help you uh, to, to take, to, to to take you in this. Uh, in this to course. prepare you actually before you move to, uh, for this journey right. so uh, that is um, my message okay. to prepare yourself thank you thank you both of you so we are looking ahead for a greater symbiotic relationship between india and japan we have previously sent a lot of students to japan who are doing their successfully so we look forward to a lot of more students who are interested and who can take the higher their careers to greater heights by moving to Japan. Thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you.